Hello, welcome to Video Pro Solutions. This is a channel for those of y'all that's doing video production on a budget. Since my name's Andre, I'm a content creator. I've been creating content for quite some time now. Thanks for taking out the time. I'm gonna dive right on in. I'm doing a short tutorial on the Canon C100. My seven reasons why I still enjoy using the Canon C100 in 2023. Number one, the battery life on this thing is amazing, y'all. I have two smart batteries. I'm able to click on my smart batteries, find out how much life I have. So that's a plus for me. Number two, the dual slot recording function. All right, for instance, let's lift that up. I'm recording to one card and it's backing up to the second one. For me, that is definitely a plus. I've had memory cards in the past fell on me. You get home, find out the footage is unusable. All right, number three. The 4K sensor in this thing is a beast. Yes, it's a 4K sensor, but it converts it to 1080p. For me, it works. I mean, the files are smaller. You still get a clean picture. It's easy to edit this footage. Um, all you have to do is download the software from Canon and voila, you know, you're not taking up a lot of space. That's a plus. All right. I'm a photographer, y'all. So number four would be the fact that I can use all my EF mount lenses uh, on this Canon C100. Save me some money, some time. Don't have to worry about buying some type of adapter. Number five would be the fact that I don't need to screw on the ND filters. Built-in ND filters here on the Canon C100. At a click of a button, I'm able to put one on, take one off. Uh, quite a few different stops there, y'all. If you're outside and you need to put some sunglasses on your lens. Number six will be the preamp mic system on this thing is a beast. I have two XLR mic setups if I'm running some wireless mics or if I'm running a boom mic with a hard XLR cable. Goes right into the mic system here, right into my footage. There's no need to sync and post. More time saved. So number seven will be the multi-recording function. I mean, there's quite a few to go over when I say multi-recording functions, but the fact that I can record in 24 frames, 30 frames and 60 frames is enough for me. Um, 120 frames when you're taking up more space. Uh, if I'm going to do something like that, I have other cameras that records at a high speed, but this is a cinema camera and it records at the frame rate you need it. And if you needed to do broadcast, you can still do 30 frames and you can go up to 60 frames. There you have it, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Don't forget to leave those comments, hit that thumbs up, and subscribe. I have more videos like this coming soon. All right, until next time, remember, capture those moments, y'all. Peace.